Hi, George Garino here for Picturance. I'm down in the concourse, uh, ready to do some Picturance with uh, a piece that I really enjoy this artist there behind me, Conrad Marcarelli. Uh, Conrad Marcarelli's piece, Black Rock, was done in 1958. And I've always found his work to be very interesting. This particular work apparently is based on the human figure, but he does a lot of work with, with buildings, and he's well known for doing large-scale um, uh, collage paintings. And, uh, you know, this one is kind of a gray and black piece. Um, and it's a little bit different, and it's one that they have in the, contra, in the concourse that uh, will be just a great one to do picturance with. Now, what are we going to do some picturance with today? Let's... Let's do it a little bit more specifically, perhaps, than we have in the past. Um, I think that people would like to, um, let's say, find themselves moving toward their goal of losing weight. How about that? And you know that if you were the type of person that would be interested in losing weight, releasing weight from their body, you could find yourself getting absorbed in a picture and begin to let that happen. Because you know in the uh, picturing's process that the, the point is to pick a point in the picture. One point in the picture that draws your attention. It could be to the left or the right, one of the edges or in the center. It could be really anything, the black, the lightness, the intersection of line, noticing the fabric perhaps. And as you begin to find yourself picking that one point in the picture, you can begin to focus into a point in that point as you let all of the other images go, letting that all go into your peripheral vision, letting that just fade away as you focus only on that point and to really get comfortable with what we're going to be doing here today. I want you to Close your eyes down now and notice how you do begin to remember the picture. And now go ahead and open your eyes and see the picture in that point that draws your attention. And you can look around and find another point or just accept the one that you've already picked. And then go ahead and close your eyes down. Close your eyes down and begin to enjoy that sensation of going inside. And now open your eyes and see the picture, remember the picture, know that it exists in the world as you focus on that one point, that one point that is absorbing your attention, that one point letting all of the other pieces of the picture just fade into the distance, into the peripheral vision that you have, knowing that when you come back later, you'll be better for the process. And you know that when I ask you to close your eyes this next time, I'm going to suggest that you go right through that point to the other side of the picture and enjoy your time. So go ahead and close your eyes down and notice where you are and allow the body to just get comfortable and the mind to begin to move toward that point in the picture and go right through that point in the picture to the other side with me knowing that as you are on the other side of the picture you can begin to relax and get comfortable perhaps even notice yourself by a campfire noticing how comfortable you can feel by the campfire burning noticing how the embers look how the flames are always different, yet always the same, and the embers glowing. And you can look inside, knowing about the burning, knowing about the oxidation, knowing about things happening there, and even the little ripples of smoke, perhaps. Smoke being sent out into the atmosphere like the words that you say to yourself and now you're going to begin to say words to yourself that encourage you to release weight 
from your body at the perfect rate and time for you to do that safely. And as you're focusing on the fire burning, burning that, it's no longer needed. You can really absorb that into you, that knowing that as you find yourself later moving your body, thinking, feeling what you're feeling, noticing what you're noticing, that you're really doing something that begins to cause you to release weight from your body. Now, I don't know what that will be for you because it can be different for anyone who focuses on the campfire and the burning, noticing how good you begin to feel about your own process of going inside, knowing that as it comes to you, what it is you need to do to release weight from your body, you know that you can begin to find yourself doing that easily, with no particular effort at all. You're not giving anything up. You're moving toward what it is you want, the perfect size and weight for your body. And as you focus on the campfire and the burning and the ripples of smoke and the embers and the various colors that are actually there in the embers, the reds, the yellows, the blues, the blacks, and find that burning comfortable this time, keeping you warm and comfortable inside, knowing that it doesn't take much to just be away from the flames and be cool, that the amount of coolness you need to be cool, and yet the burning is always there, burning that old stuff that's no longer needed, causing that sensation to be inside of you beautifully formed the way it needs to be formed for you now know that you can remember this experience and the burning and how you'll take care of yourself to release weight from your body at the appropriate time and place and way that you'll be doing that now because you don't even have to think about it and you can now look through the back of the picture to where you once were Look out there to once you were there and you will be there in a moment. And with what it is you've learned and are learning inside about the burning and the campfire and the comfort of it being safe and comfortable being close enough and yet far enough away that you can bring that into yourself. Bring that into yourself and back with you as you float through the back of the picture to where you once were and integrate into that being who you are now. And in a moment, when I count to three, I want you to open your eyes and look at the picture. One, two, three. Open your eyes and look at the picture and that point in the picture, knowing that every time you see the picture, remember the picture, or just know that it exists in the world, you continue on your goal your way of doing what it is that you need to do. So go ahead and close your eyes down now. Remember the picture. Know that it exists in the world. And get that good feeling inside. And again, one, two, three. Open your eyes and look at the picture. Look at that point in the picture. Remember the picture. Knowing that when you do remember the picture, see the picture, or just know that it exists in the world, that you continue on your journey toward your goals, completion. So go ahead and close your eyes down and get that deep inside of you. Let that picture be stored deep inside of you for you to recall at any time that's right for you. That's right. And now in a moment I am going to count to five. And when I get to five, you're to open your eyes, be back, in the room, feeling fantastic, ready to go about your day, knowing you've done a wonderful job. Number one, 
breathing naturally. Number two, coming up even more to the surface. Three, more and more to the surface. Breathing beautifully. Four, you're thinking and seeing more clearly than ever before. And on the next number, open your eyes. Five, right back to the surface, noticing how good you feel. And thanks for spending this time with me in Picturance. Go about your day as if nothing's happened, if you can. Get that goal accomplished as soon as it's safe for you to do that now. George Garino for Picturance. Till next time.